Hey there, welcome to another episode of Hanging Out with Me in the Kitchen Space. In today's episode, let's make some matoke in peanut sauce, served with some spinach. And this is a recipe that you definitely have to train your kitchen. And from this corner, this is some salt. I have my cooking oil. I have some beef broth. And the other day, I showed you how to make some beef broth, soy sauce, ginger, some garlic, capsicum, coriander stems. Below here, I have some coriander leaves. These are my peanuts and they are not cooked. I have my chopped onions. I have my spinach. I have my matoke here. And then for the spices, I have some turmeric, some paprika, curry powder, chicken masala, but you can also use some beef masala, black pepper, and some rico powder. And without further ado, let's get started. <music> So let's start off by preparing our matoke and I also have another matoke recipe so you can check that out and if at all you have watched it you'll remember that I normally chop off the edges of my banana and then I go with some two slices not very deep just deep enough to cut the, through the skin and this is going to help uh, when peeling. You're going to have an easy time. And you're also not going to get the messina on your hands. So that is one hack that I normally use whenever I'm dealing with someone talking. Then I'll also go in with a generous amount of salt and this will ensure that as they boil, chumbi na ingia hadi ukondani. I'm going to add my water. And then I'm going to boil this till when you insert a fork or a, or a knife, uh, it easily goes through. So that will take about 10 to 12 minutes thereabout. Then, for the second step, we are going to prepare our peanuts. And as I've mentioned, these peanuts have not yet been cooked, so they are very raw. But if at all you have the cooked peanuts, that's well and good. You can also use them. And you need a grinder for this process. And we are going to grind this. So this is what you have and this is more than enough so i'm going to save the surplus for next time then thirdly we are going to puree our vegetables and this is going to ensure that the final product has a very smooth consistency otherwise it's not really a must for you to puree your vegetables you can also chop them into fine pieces or also grate them also, I forgot to mention that you will need some tomatoes if at all you do not have the tomato paste. Then I'm going to wait for my bananas to get ready, then we can combine everything. So in the meantime, as my matoke continue boiling, let's prepare our spinach and i'm going to add about a tablespoon of cooking oil once that is hot i'll go in with some spring onion Then I'm going to cook this for about two to three minutes, then they are going to be ready. So these are ready. So 
So you can see how easily my knife goes through and this means that my bananas are ready. So I'm going to drain off this water, then I'm going to run my bananas through cold water so that they can stop cooking. In the meantime, let's prepare our sauce. I'll start by adding about 2 to 3 tablespoons of cooking oil. Then, once my oil is hot, I'll go in with my onions. So once they start turning their color and they are very fragrant at this point, I'll go in with my spices. And I'm going to toast them for about 30 seconds or so. And once they start becoming fragrant, I'm going to go in with my puree. So I'm going to cook this for about 3 to 5 minutes till I'm certain that my ginger is ready. Then I'm also going to go in with my tomato paste. And I'll rinse it off with some little bit of water. And I'm going to continue cooking this for about 1 more minute. you can smell almost all the spices and you can see that this has already thickened up and it's at this point that we'll go in with our peanut and the more you add uh, the thicker your stew is going to become so uh, be sure to add just the right amount and this is just a matter of eyeballing it also depends with the amount of bananas you are cooking so that should be enough and this is where our beef broth comes in so mine has not yet fully defrosted but it's going to melt in here and if at all you also do not have the beef broth you can feel free to add some water so that is going to help to loosen the peanut and that will ensure that our peanut cooks without burning so I'm just going to keep tossing this around so that it can melt. And then I'm going to cook this for about 3 to 5 minutes. Our peanut should be ready and you can already see how thick it is. So I might need to add some water just to loosen things up. And in the meantime, I'm removing the skin from my bananas. Also, remember that we have not yet added salt, but we added salt in our matoke. So, uh, we do not need to add a lot of salt in this sauce. We only need to add just what is enough for this particular sauce. You can see this is thickening up. And so... I'll go in with my salt, then I'll go in with about half a teaspoon of some soy sauce and this is just to enhance the color, nothing much. Then I'm going to cook it for about a minute so that the salt can blend in. Then I'll come back to add my bananas.
So I'm going to reduce my fire to low and I'm going to let this simmer for about 3 to 5 minutes so that the flavors can penetrate into the bananas because I have already tasted the sauce and it tastes amazing. We'll sprinkle some coriander. So we are going to cover this and let it sit for about a minute as we prepare the other side for serving. So as you've seen, it was that easy preparing this matoke in peanut sauce and I've served mine with spinach and if at all I had an avocado, this would really, really slap well. So I'm going to dig in and for today, I'm also using a fork and a knife. So let me tell you one thing my now. This particular meal is the one you sing for your visitors as you push them behind because I they just have to say what they came to do here. <laughs> this is so good. Ah. <laughs> So let me try out this whole combination, spinach, the sauce, and I, mm. Mm. this is so good. This is so good. So legit. So that's it for today's episode. I hope you liked it. I also hope you enjoyed it. I also hope you're going to try out this recipe. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll definitely see you in my next one. Bye.